Here's an idea to try that Ben Winkle suggested, and he said about the alkaline cell that I made in the last video, why not try zinc instead of the lead? And I thought, well, okay, yeah, let's have a go at that. So what I've got is another sewn down um, solder tube, and then a piece of zinc there. I'm going to cut that to probably go all the way around the inside, give more surface area. Then a carbon rod from an AA battery, as long as it doesn't say alkaline on the side of them, they've normally got a carbon rod inside. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap this kitchen roll around here and put that rod in the middle of the sheet that's going around the outside and then add this plumber stuff and see what the voltage is. And the whole idea is not to charge it and see how long a run or whatever voltage this thing sits at, whether it can keep there with a small load. There's the piece of zinc sheet now rolled up and inside the tube. And there's the carbon rod rolled up and inside. And finally the drain cleaner stuff has now been added. So, put a couple of leads on and see what the voltage is. Let's have a look. I've not switched this on. This will all be live as they say. And, oh that's pretty nice isn't it? So, 1.188. That's pretty high. So I guess the obvious is to try it on this from the last video. There have been a couple of changes. I put the panels back on. I've also limited the output from this cell um, with only about a couple of hundred ohms at the moment. But cells tend to work best when they're not stressed completely for any microamps they've got when they're not charged. So what I think I'll do is, um, well, disconnect this cell and try the new one. Right, so I've disconnected the original cell. And you can see that there is nothing at all going on from the solar cells. So what I'll do now is I'll connect the positive to the other side of the capacitor and I wonder if something will happen. Just give me a second. Oh! Immediately. So that should now begin to speed up. And it looks like we've got another test cell, and thanks very much to Ben Winkle for the idea of using zinc. Um, that is now going great guns. That's superb. So there we are, an alternative idea is zinc and carbon with an alkali mixture. Huh, thanks very much. Okay, and thanks for watching.